Okay, so you take your lace right here, and when you take your lace, you start at A1, A and 1, so you take your, your right lace, you push it through the hole, and then you take your left side, and you push it through the A hole. Make sure it's like straight like this. So your right lace side go to the one hole and then the left the left lace side go to the A hole. So you get your right lace and if you're left handed then you start at your A lace and you just go to B. But since I'm right handed I will start at a1 which is one right here so we're going to take my right lace right here and go to 2 which is right here we just going to pull 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 and then we're going to take my left lace and we're going to take it from A all the way to B so we're just going to push it through the hole push 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 and now pull 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 and now you made it to 2B so now you're gonna start out with you're gonna start over here at B with your right lace right here and then you're gonna take it from B to C and if you're left handed you'll take it to 2 to 3 but since I'm right handed like I said I'm gonna take it to B to C and then we're going to take my left string right here from 2 to 3 and now you got your two beautiful X's right here so you can go to 4D like this you can go from 3 since I'm right handed and you can go to 3 from 4 like this and then you can go from C to D and then you made it to 4D and then you can tie up your shoe like this you get your two lace and then you make an X like this and then you take your left one because this is your left one but when you cross it, it looks like your right one so you take your right one right here and you put it under like this and then you pull you can try to get in the middle but if it's not in the middle like this then it's all right then you can make a bow i recommend you get in a longer string because this is not really a long string and then you just, after you make the two bows, you cross it like this, like, almost like an X. And then you take your right one, which is right here. See, you're going to do it one more time. Cross. And then you take your right one, which is right here. And then you bring it under like this. And then you pull but now I'm going to show you at C3 because it may look a bit better so we're going to go back to C3 that's how you tie it up at 4D so at C3 I got more string this time so I can you just cross like I like I did for 4D you bring down your right lace and then you make you make it go under then you then you bring it back up and then cross try to make it in the middle if you can't it's fine and then you make a bow on your left hand and you also make another bow 
on your right hand and then you just pull again and then you take it and you then you cross it like this and then you take your right bow you put it under where the loop is like right here and then if it's not like tight enough then you can make then you can take the two bows again cross it take your right bow right here put it under and then tie it like this I say it may take a just a little bit to like untie it but it's untieable so that's good like this and then yeah and now since you learned how to make to tie your shoe from scratch now you can take it out and you can practice it by re-watching the video and yeah that's really all now I'm gonna retake out all the string but that's how you start from scratch from tying up your shoe from A1 to 2B to C3 for 4D and yeah that's all. Bye.